Veterans. Hi, I'm Mark from uh, Arizona. I'm a U.S. Army veteran. I'm a former pastor. Uh, I uh, became a Republican as soon as I was eligible to vote. Uh, I'm an immigrant and I'm a naturalized uh, American citizen. Uh, I joined the Republican Party and became a very loyal uh, Republican. Uh, a little a little bit to the extreme side, I, I actually was a very avid Fox News uh, viewer. I uh, watched Hannigan Combs, uh, went back uh, on my lunch breaks. Me and a buddy of mine would actually, uh, uh, you know, eat lunch at his Jeep and listen to Rush Limbaugh and uh, Michael Savage and talk about how great the Republican Party was. And, uh, <laughs> talk about liberals and how they're ruining the country. Uh, I uh, started uh, having disillusionment uh, creeping in when around the mid-2000s when uh, Arizona Republicans started becoming, uh, started shifting to the right and started uh, becoming really xenophobic, especially after the passage of uh, SB 1070, which is a very anti-immigrant law that got uh, you know, kicked to the curb by a federal judge, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, immigration is a big issue for me, uh, being an immigrant myself. Um, and so come around 2016, um, I uh, joined the, uh, I became an independent. Uh, I did not go Democrat because I still have a lot of conservative values and I did not fully identify with the Democratic Party. Um, so I was rooting for uh, John Kasich during the presidential primary. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Trump won that, uh, that primary and got the presidential nomination. So during the 2016 uh, election between Hillary and Trump, I could not vote for Hillary, did not want to, was not a fan. Uh, I could not vote for Trump uh, in good conscience, so I voted for the Libertarian candidate, Gary Johnson. Um, but when Trump won the presidential election, um, I was very hopeful that uh, he would bring some change and move to the middle, uh, seeing that he's not a politician, but he's more of a businessman and uh, celebrity, so I kind of thought that he would, you know, go to the middle and unite the country. But instead, uh, he started shifting more to the right and more to the far right, and uh, which he considers his base. Uh, then he starts going on these narcissistic outbursts that kind of put me off. But it's still, I still wished him well. Uh, to me, you know, I, I dealt with a lot of different personalities before, but... But as time went by, uh, he started becoming more xenophobic. Uh, I saw the way he treated refugees, his posture towards immigration. Uh, he started uh, uh, disparaging at Gold Star families uh, with Sergeant Johnson and Captain Khan's family. Uh, he started disrespecting them. And uh, so that, that really, like, you know, uh, you may, you may not remember the exact words that somebody uh, uses, but you will always remember how they made you feel. And I remember feeling really uh, sorry for the, that family. Uh, it actually uh, brought tears to my eyes, uh, seeing that uh, the president is trampling all over their, you know, all over their pain like that. Um, but that still wasn't uh, a deal breaker for me. I was so open as to who I was gonna vote for in November. But uh, the turning point started happening when uh, there was another opportunity where he, uh, he insulted John McCain again. Uh, and then uh, another, another turning point for me is when he did that photo op in front of that church where he posed with a Bible and then gassed uh, peaceful protesters. And he tried to spin it any way he can, blamed it, they blamed it on the protesters, uh, claimed he didn't do it, uh, shifted the responsibilities around, totally deflecting everything. Uh, so that, that, was a, that was a big thing. Uh, 
and 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 the last two major ones that totally solidified uh, me not voting for him was when uh, when history handed him two opportunities to unite the country, and one was the, the pandemic that we're currently in. Uh, he, all we needed was great leadership to unify us and to beat this virus like a common enemy. Instead, he politicized it, he weaponized it, and he used it to divide Americans. Uh, and, and, and there's like a trail of dead bodies in his wake because of his poor leadership decisions. Thousands of Americans are now dead because he did not uh, use his leadership to unite us and to, and to help us fight this pandemic. Um, and another opportunity that he could have used to unify us was when Floyd died. Uh, instead, uh, instead of using his position to heal the, the racial divide and heal the great wound uh, that's in the hearts of everybody in this country, he used it, he weaponized it again, used it to divide people, uh, called Black Lives Matter, which is a human rights movement to uh, and, and labeled as a terrorist group and totally used it to divide uh, the different races that make up uh, America. So uh, come this November, I am voting for Joe Biden. I made up my mind. Uh, Joe is a moderate. He's a decent man. He has empathy, uh, which Trump does not have at all because he's a narcissist. And uh, I really think that Joe can make uh, these United States united again instead of uh, Trump's divided states of America. So come November, please vote for Joe and vote blue.